right guys, here's a fairly new purchase for me. This is the Steel BT131 post hole auger or post hole digger from Steel. Um, so we've got an overview of the machine here. Yeah, I did do a lot of research before I bought this. Um, but to be honest, I got frustrated. There was, there was very little information on this machine. It was only through using forums and things like that that I, I got the information. But on YouTube, you know, I tend to do a, a lot of watching of YouTube videos, you know, just to research things. Um, there's Some of the videos are pretty poor on this machine, to be honest. So I thought I would do a, a, a bit more detailed uh, video than is available at present. Just in case anybody else is interested in this. I mean, it is a lot of money to spend. I mean, this whole kit here costs just shy of a thousand pounds for me, so obviously you need to do a bit of research before you spend that sort of money. Um, so when you buy it, you get the the actual head unit here, which is separate. Um, so that was six hundred pounds. You get the extension bar, which is optional. But I'm six foot one tall, so I need that, you know, just to take up the comfortable height. Uh, that's roughly £100, and this is a 6 inch auger bit here, which is another £300, so you know, in, in total we've got £1,000 here. But for my purposes, this will pay for itself really quickly. Um, that, you know, I don't mind spending that sort of money as long as it pays for itself, which it will. I've used that in two jobs already, and it's just uh, the difference is immense, you know, uh, with this. I will do some demonstrations later on just to show you. Uh, but firstly, here's a, the machine. As I said, it's steel. Can't go wrong with steel in my in my eyes. Uh, you know, German tool again, very reliable. Yeah, so as I've said, you've got the head unit here, which is basically a handle and a trigger. Um, I'll, I will demonstrate it later. Uh, we've got the extension bar here, which just simply a quick release uh, sort of catches that just clip together. Uh, and we have the, in my case, this is a 150 millimeter auger or six inch. In hindsight, I should have went for the 8 inch, I think, um, the 200 millimeters, which I'll probably end up buying now, because this one is a little bit narrow, uh, when you're sinking 4 inch posts into the ground. It does the job, I mean, as I said, I've used it, it does the job, you just need to open up the hole a little bit with the, the post hole, the manual post hole digger, once you've drilled the main hole, it's, which is not an issue. Uh, the good thing about these as well is this distance from here to here is 2 feet, so in my case, when I'm sinking 6 foot posts, or posts in for a six foot fence, I always go two feet into the ground. So you can dig down, once that comes to the surface of the, the ground, you know you're deep enough and you can stop, you know, just pull it out and then go in the next hole. Okay, so that gives you a brief overview view of the tool. Uh, to start this, it's very easy. You've got the priming button here. This is cold, by the way, so I'm going to start it just now. It uh, hasn't been started today. So here's the priming button, press that five times. See the fuel filling up there. Here's your choke, just in behind the, the priming button. So we'll put it on full choke. You don't need to do anything else, just pull the handle till it kicks over. It turns the choke off and then pull it again, it should power away. And I'll just set the camera up now and demonstrate that. Okay, so we've primed it by pushing the button five times. We've got the choke on full. Now we'll just pull the handle a couple of times till it kicks over. That's it, first time, typical steel fashion. It's turned over, so I've just switched the choke off now. Got another couple of pulls. So I've had it purring over there, as you can see. I've just switched it off so you can hear me. Um, and to stop it, you just press this button here. It just stops it instantly. Right, so one of the un unique things with this particular auger is this handle here. So if we can see this handle here, this. You know, when I, when I started it, it's just idling. Um, that handle's in this position here. But once you're ready to start, you pull this handle back. Like so. And then, you know, pull the trigger and that'll spin the auger. It puts it into gear, if you like. Now, the reason for this is you, you rest your hips against here and start drilling the hole. Um, the beauty of this machine is if you hit a stone or a tree root, and it kicks, you know, if it twists around violently, this bar hits your leg. You know, instantly goes over there and stops the machine. And what that does, it protects your wrists from jarring. You know, if you're using this and it doesn't have that, and you hit a stone that jars violently, you know, you can pretty much nearly break your wrist sometimes. You know, it is really violent. Um, but this, this bar stops that. So, again, have the machine idling. 
once you're ready to drill, pull that towards you, start drilling your hole, once you're finished just click the bar off, it knocks it out of gear and it's ready to go in the next hole. Okay, so here's a side view of the machine, so this is it standing up. Uh, here's the pad where you rest your, your your thighs on or your hips on, depending on what heat it's at. Um, obviously grip it here, hand there and a hand there, uh, and, and draw it down. I'll show you that now. Right guys, so I've just picked a rough area in my garden here. <laughs> it's just a bit that the wife won't, she doesn't want me drawing into the grass, so I've just picked a, a circle here. Um, so I'll drill a couple of holes in here just to show you how this works. Um, and this ground is by no means easy, this is quite stony ground here. Um, so I'll show you how it works. So I'll set the camera up now, I'll get in position, drill down and show you how it works. And um, this is the bar that I was on about in the, in the last section. So if you can imagine your hips in here, here's the bar, pull it towards you, that's it in gear, and then we'll, we'll drill down. Hopefully you'll see that when I do it. Guys, hopefully you can hear me. That's me just drilled down that depth. So to stop the machine, just press the button here. So you can see that after a few seconds you're down. As I explained earlier, this, this is the two feet level. So once you get to this area here, you know you're two feet down. But again, uh, what I found with this machine is you just, just sort of edge it down a little bit at a time. And you can actually feel resistance, you know, with stones and roots and just back off a little bit. And then go again and go, go again, just gently does it. If, if you try and force the machine down, it's guaranteed to catch and it will whip round. Uh, I don't know if you saw it, but I did hit a stone there and the thing whipped round and hit my leg and cut out. Um, hopefully it demonstrated that. But we'll take the machine out now and I'll show you the, the kind of hole it gives you. Okay, so I've just lifted the machine out now. We'll have a look at this hole. Hello! I don't know if you can see the base of that, but that's that's a good it's probably more than two feet down there. Um, these are the kind of stones that dislodges. Obviously, if you get any, there's another one. It's got a big one. Obviously, you get bigger stones. It's going to jam. You're going to have to dig the stone out. But all in all, it's pretty good. So, if you can imagine having to dig, you know, 40 or 50 of these holes by hand, how long that would take you, versus using this, which takes seconds. Um, it's ideal. Yeah. So I'll draw another one here. i um, just show you. You'll see me put it down, lift it up slightly every so often just to clear the hole and we'll see how long this takes. See how quick it is. Um, so that's it. As I say, there's a bit of a technique to using it. You need to just go down a little bit at a time, keep taking the earth out. Once you feel resistance, back off a little bit and then go down again. Yeah, this machine's absolutely brilliant. I'm really pleased with it. Um, the only thing I would say is I think I should have went for a wider, a bigger auger. Um, as I said, this is 150mm or 6 inch. Probably better going for the the 8 inch or the 
200 millimeter one. You can imagine a four inch post in there, it doesn't leave you much space around the edge, you know, once you put the post in, so. A bigger auger would be better, I think. Yeah, but as it is, I, I quite like using this one and then just open the hole up slightly with a, a post hole digger, which, you know, doesn't take any time at all, and no effort. Um, so the one benefit, or a couple of benefits of this, uh, the obvious one's the speed. Um, the second one is the, the fatigue aspect. If you can imagine drilling, you know, tens, tens of holes a day, you very quickly get fatigued, which obviously slows progress. But with this, I mean, <laughs> I'm out of breath a little bit here just now. It still takes a bit of effort, but nowhere near close digging it by hand. So you minimise your fatigue, um, which quickens, the, speeds up the job. Digging actual holes a lot quicker as well, so it's a win-win situation really. Right guys, well hopefully that will give you an overview of the BT-131. Uh, but if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Anybody new here, please hit the subscribe button, which is there. Any questions about the machine or, you know, any queries about it, stick in the comments and I'll answer as best I can. Uh, all my current subscribers, thank you very much. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks again, take it easy, cheers.